Welcome to Speakeasy, friends. <laughs> Hello, host Erin. How are you on this fantastic Friday evening? I'm a few drinks in, so I'm doing Oh, yeah. Great. We're a couple yeah. drinks in. I got something funny for you today. It's Friday night, and Erin, Heather, and Sarah are here to hang out with you and try <laughs> and something drink. new. Mm-hmm. Drink. The oh, I department. like that in mind, too. Oh, this is it. definitely going to be something new. I haven't tasted it yet, but I've smelled it, and it's interesting. <laughs> so, is anyone interested in having a pet hippo? No, absolutely not. Oh, well, that's too bad. If it was that mini hippo that used to be in ads, I would take that yes, little hippo. the house hippo. That wasn't real. Hi- it wasn't real. <laughs> okay, all right. Sarah, think about how much poop <laughs> your dog generates. Do you want a hippo poop to clean up? <laughs> Have you ever heard of Pablo Escobar's cocaine hippos? No. No. Oh, I loved Narcos, though. Yeah. Yes. Remember when I was Me talking too. in a Colombian accent all the time? Exactly. So really tonight is Colombian night at Three okay. Kitchens. Okay. All right. And I have a Colombian story and a Colombian drink. Ooh. Oh, really? Yeah. So, in the 1980s, the famous Pablo Escobar mm-hmm. wanted to create his own personal zoo at his hacienda, which was east of Medellin in Colombia. Of course he did, with all his drug funds. Mm-hmm. What's he going to do with all that money? He's got, yeah. he yeah. could do anything he wanted. He was <laughs> the king. Mm-hmm. So, uh, in 1993, when he was killed, um, his zoo, all the animals had to be re- relocated. Yes. Mm. However, the hippos were just too big to move. Okay. Ain't nobody can move a hippo. Ain't, Ain't nobody. nobody. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody. So they Ain't thought, Ain't nobody well, can move that hippo? There's only four hippos. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, so these hippos, these four hippos that started, have escaped from his estate mm-hmm. and have completely overrun <laughs> the Colombian lowlands, because as it happens, they are the ideal habitat for a hippo. Oh, that's great for the hippos, but now there are almost 80 to 100 in the Magdalena Basin. Oh, wow. They've been procreating. Yeah. So they've been making it happen. (laughs) (laughs) Making it happen. Right. They've been making the hippo love. That's what we call it now. The hippo love. The hippo love. I'll get you guys in a bit. I just got to make it happen. Okay. (laughs) Kids, just go play your video games. Mom and dad are going to make it happen. (laughs) So, okay, problem with these hippos, number one, they're eating all the native grasses. Mm. And now the mighty manatee, who is native to this river basin, is being outcompeted. Hippo problem number two, they are making way too much poop. So you were right about the poop. What did I tell you? Yes. Yeah, poop. Heather was I on it. it's like so it's toxic. So much poop, it's making the water toxic because it's causing algal blooms and it's destroying the water for the fish that live there. Uh, they're not only like large territorial dangerous animals, but now there is also a side hustle of animal traffickers. Oh, you know they always have to come and ruin this shit. Sorry, ruin this stuff. <laughs> this hippo poop. They gotta ruin this hippo poop. <laughs> They're stealing these calves from their mothers and oh. selling them to wealthy people in Colombia that want to have them Why as a pet. Why do they want hippo Because pets? it's a ha- it's a status symbol now. Just because Pablo had Cause it. Because it's one of... Drug Lord had it, I must... Okay, does anyone want okay. a cocaine hippo as a pet? <laughs> Why is it called cocaine? Just because he because was Pablo. Funded. Because of Pablo. Pablo was the, With his it was cocaine, the cocaine money. Cocaine money. Yeah, it was the okay. money from his cocaine. So I feel sorry for these hippos. They they didn't deserve. Yeah, I know. It. No, but and hopefully they'll stay. They think that they should most likely stay out of the Amazon because there are the Andes Mountains in between that should separate mm. them and stop them from crossing into the Amazon basin. However, if they did, it would probably be like a huge disaster there too. They'll feed the giant. What kind of snakes live there that want to? Go Ooh, down a hippo. That would be interesting. Snake or hippo, who would win? Oh, snake versus hippo. There were beast wars, remember? remember that <laughs> exactly. Yes, thank yeah. you. I love thank it. Thank you, I Sarah. Love it. Yeah, thank I love you. that. Okay. I love that show. 
You're totally on board with me. We used to me. put the bets down. It was like hey, yeah. 25 cents. I said, that, that animal is a great show of um, starting off with two animals fighting each other if they fought each other. Yeah. They didn't actually not really real. fight yeah. each other. And, mm -hmm. uh, and then a scientific explanation on, on what the probable yeah. result would be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sarah, you're also a nerd in Nerdland with me now because you related. Okay, listen, we all have boys. We had the books too. We used to get the books in the library. I had no boys to make me get into this. This was just a girl. You have a boy though. Oh, no, but oh, okay. It okay. was. But she's me. she's trying to tell the truth. Thank you, Sarah. We've got her in the truth telling stage. Aaron, tell us what's what's in this Colombian mm. drink because I think it tastes like hippo poop. Did you? What? Did, oh. How did you say Colombian? Colombian. 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 <laughs> Okay, enough. I don't like this drink. It is really weird. What is it? Yeah. What is it? Are you liking it at all? I didn't in the beginning, but it's yeah. growing on me. My husband loved it, so I was going to actually... This smells all right. It's not It's not awful, guys. It's, it's the mint for me. What the ah. heck kind of mint? Yeah, that's what's wrong with it. It's the kind of mint. That's exactly it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Online, I found something tonight that called the Anona Swizzle. And it's one of the best mixed drinks in Cartagena. Okay. <laughs> not, according to whom? Not according to Heather. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. The drink that you're drinking tonight has guanabana. It's frozen. It's because we can't get it fresh here, but it's a fruit. It has coconut cream, orange juice, two ounces of gin, two ounces of rum, and a little bit of peppermint. That's the problem. You really have the done without the peppermint. It's yeah. the worst. It's the peppermint. Is the peppermint the worst part? I think yeah. you guys got more peppermint than mine because I oh, don't really God. taste the peppermint. Yeah. Really? The peppermint oh, is not like overpowering. Mmm. <laughs> but I feel Damn. like maybe I don't have to brush my teeth tonight. <laughs> Maybe it's clearing yes. out your sinuses and you hit. Okay, what kind of peppermint? Like, is it. I just what? use peppermint extract. I put a little bit in and maybe I. Oops. Right. A bit. I thought. On the you know what? When I first tasted it, it reminded me of like creme de menthe. That, oh, that's no, exactly here. what I thought. I'm like, is this creme de menthe? Yeah. I was like, wow, Aaron. <laughs> creme de menthe. I love Poirot from Agatha Christie, and the one thing I never liked about him was that he always drank creme de menthe. And I'm like, Ugh, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Why would you drink creme de menthe to freshen your breath? Like, what is the point Ooh. of creme de menthe? Well, but, I um, tried the coconut cream. I thought you guys might ring me over the coals for the coconut cream. I love, I, if I could taste it. That's the problem. Coconut cream is fine. Okay. And whatever the fruit, guanabana, is a green, crooked, heart-shaped fruit with small spike-like protuberances. Mm. Protuberan oh. pro protuberances. Yes. That, 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 that you guys, it protrubes. That. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't tell you anything about the taste or the flavor of this at all, so I had no idea what it was going to get. It's super sour. Okay. I feel like, because you can't taste this, because I've done a terrible job adding mint to it, no, you haven't done a terrible job adding mint to it, but as I gave this a 7th or 11th or 20th chance as I'm drinking it, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I actually can taste the rest of the ingredients. It's coming back past the... Okay. Uh, it actually tastes good. I just think you should leave the mint out. Or... Next time I'll keep the mint out. Again, mm -hmm. this recipe has absolutely no instructions with it. It only has a oh, list lovely. of things that are often included and served with it. So oh. I seriously just pulled it out of the hat with this yeah. so it was really mysterious whether it was gonna turn out or not it's kind of like a creamy margarita so um listeners ignore the margarita comment oh and go with drunk pros and heather's heather's pro uh, expertise what is the coconut drink that we are uh, very used to drinking on the beach like a pina colada pina colada this uh, is what the the actual profile is it's not oh, the margarita pardon me erin's awesome she's not a drinker it's okay she's not a drinker she's we are here to all have one brain and make it work. And so yep. it actually is a very good drink. Like I, I would totally have this, but maybe without or very much less mint. No mint. Cut the mint. Maybe even a fresh mint. 
Okay. Like a muddled mint in it. Okay, be- maybe, ah. maybe. Mm-hmm. I just think it's so overpowering of everything else mm-hmm. that I can't even get past it to taste the rest <laughs> of it. I'm sorry. And I have no desire to finish this drink. I'm committed, so I'm almost is- done. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I, I also have to confess that I'm not a rum fan generally. Right. So it may be, there may be a hint of that that's kind of not appealing to me. I don't know, because all I feel is it's the mint. I'm really <laughs> curious about this fruit now, though. I kind of want to yeah. check that out. So I found it in the freezer section at the Unimart, which is oh, our okay. local Latin American store. Right. And mm-hmm. it comes in like this package. Mm-hmm. And it says you can just add this package to a liter of water. And then that's how you would, you could drink your, like, it's almost lemonade like I don't, I don't know. Right. It's, oh. it's got a very, very sour profile. Sorry. Peppermint. Wow. No, wow. don't be sorry. No, no, no. I think no. we're on to something. I think we're on to something. I think it's a great drink. Just be careful of the mint. We will put, uh, we'll put all those thoughts down. Yeah, maybe just correct the yeah. recipe to... I would say mint. Mint is optional. Like, try it without first and see if you like it. And then if you think it will be good with mint, add the mint. Because mm-hmm. I would totally try it We've without... We've taste tested this for you. We've come up with all the solutions to the problems, and now you can go and make it better. That's right. And convince Heather to go for a second. Look, that's what we're here for. (laughs) Now we know about hippos. We know (laughs) know know about hippos. Those Colombian hippos. Stop. Stop with your, like you and my husband can go back and forth with the Colombian accent. With the accents. The Colombian (laughs) accent. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. See si uno. Well, you know, listeners, I think I'm going to stop this uh, for your sake. And um, thank you for listening to us and joining us for a drink. I think this was definitely something that we would make without the mint. Erin, make it again. I'm going to make f- another one for yeah. you guys. I'm here for yeah. it. Thanks for joining us. You can find these recipes under the Speakeasy tab on 3kitchenspodcast.com. Those Colombian hippos. Stop.